What is up everyone, Roadshow1k here, back with a video after a long break. I'm so sorry guys, I've been so stressed out with school, but luckily I'm within the last four days of school and I am wrapping up, the stress has been lifted, and I am ready, refreshed, and rejuvenated, prepared to make more videos and streams. I'm sorry for that huge gap, I know it's been a long time since I've made something worth watching. I've been so busy trying to balance out videos, streaming, and working hard in school. But I did get as far as I wanted to as far as school goes. I got accepted into the high school I wanted to get into. I got an honor roll in school, and I'm glad that I got my hard work done, and that's all out of the way. Speaking of hard work, thank you everyone so much for helping me achieve 250 subscribers. I'm gaining subs at a way faster rate than before. And I appreciate everyone's support so very much. Thank you all a lot. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked here. Let's get into this point of this video, which is in the title. So first things first, we are going to open up Google Chrome. Go to Filmora 9. Search up that. Link in the description if you need a link to the website. Click on free download. Keep. Open that up. Yes. Install. Installing. All right, so let's minimize Google Chrome. Start now. Installation successful. Close that. Minimize. We're going to open this up. It is going to take us to the default screen. Also, I had Filmora 9 on my last software on this computer, I guess you could say, but my computer started getting really slow, and so I reset it, and I decided to take advantage of that and make a how-to on this. Anyway, do not press new project or open project. What we're going to do from here, we're going to do Control-Alt-Delete, Task Manager, open, uh, do more details. If it's not already on that for you, it'll be in the bottom left. Go to details, scroll all the way to the bottom, see wshelper.exe, we're going to click on that. Do not double click, just do open file location. Now that we have that open, you can end both tasks. End. End. It is highly important that you do everything that I do in this tutorial or else it will not work. And there have been cases where people have been banned because of this if you do not do this step by step. Okay, now that we have done that, you can close that out. We'll go into this now. WS Helper, delete. Do not mess with anything else in this file. If you tamper with it, that could cause you to get banned. So you can close that out now. We're going to boot up Filmora 9 again. It'll take us to the normal screen. What we're going to do from here is new project. And this will take us to our first screen. It should show a message center pop up. There's that. Close. All right. Now that we have this open, you can minimize that. We're going to go back onto Google Chrome. And we're going to search up GSM Filmora 9 free registration I probably spelled that wrong code there GSM world that's what you want to make sure it says GSM go on there I know it looks like a really sketchy website but I promise you it works I've done it before you do not have to ent enter any information whatsoever Sorry about that. I got a notification that it stopped recording. So I just, I'm just i just going to edit out that part. Anyway, as I was saying, this website is not sketchy at all. I've used it before. Um, I was making a copy of this video before, and I just realized it was not recording. So I pretty much did everything I needed to do. But I'll show you how to do it anyway. I'm not going to leave you guys this far into the video of not knowing what to do. Anyway, there's this right here, these codes, license emails, and registration codes. What you want to do is just highlight them, copy them, control C, and what you're going to do is go to Filmora 9, 
help offline activation and for license email you're just gonna control V or control C control V it you're gonna get is make sure that these you use the same set of codes and as long as you do that you should be good what you're gonna do is copy that you're gonna press activate should be like right around here and then it will say your software has been activated or successfully activated and then it will open up in Chrome the Filmora 9 official website it will say thank you for installing and then you will have the full version of Filmora 9 you can see right up here in the center it says activated so I do now have the full version of Filmora 9 anywho thank you everyone for watching this video I hope you all enjoyed it once again, I'm sorry for not making videos in a while, but I already have the next video planned out. And that will hopefully be dropped shortly on my channel. Um, yeah, so thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.